Black Power and finally in the Dylan Roof trial. You saw him last week put out a call for more of his brothers to step up and finish this race war. Well, on the opposite side, you got the victims who um, Christianity has them talking about they forgive this nutcase who is calling for more murders. So, again, it's overstanding that there has been a lot of cultivating and conditioning of the way a lot of our people think that tells them to comply with this genocide, um, submit to this psychopathic um, white nationalist order um, but again it's time to liberate our spirits and minds and eventually our actions will follow as far as the chicago four who's been charged with kidnapping and torturing a mentally challenged person you know if you look into that case you'll see this person 18 years of age his parents dropped him off at a mcdonald's to go to a sleepover so he's not that mentally challenged but he also went to school with at least one of these individuals. But the more you look into it and then you compare it to other situations where the FBI claims um, they stopped a so-called terrorist attack. And then you find out it was actually entrapment. You know, an uh, agent went out and, and found people who were angry, whether they black, Muslim. And, and you know, they talk about things they want to do. So these agents then come up with a scheme, get these people to conspire and agree to it or they provoke them into actually doing things. But that's more so what this Chicago situation um, sounds like. So we have to find out more about the so-called victim. And finally, um, um, black Democrats, um, members of the Co Congressional Black Caucus came out calling for reparations. You would figure how come they didn't do this the whole eight years of Obama's administration, but now they come out um, against Trump when they know Trump ain't, trying to hear that but again it's to try to win back some of the seven million people who they lost in this past um election who just could not support hillary so again um these fake news campaigns are very real it's not just a word they throwing out but whether it's overt or covertly they're doing everything they can to try to win some of you back and most definitely trying to get you to look at your own people um and, and not working with your own people, not trusting your own people. It's what's been helping them stay in power this long. All power to the people.